Elvis Aaron Presley was born in 1935 in Tupelo, Mississippi. Presley was born into a religious working-class family. Presley's family attended the Assembly of God Church. In 1953, Presley graduated from Humes High School in Memphis. Presley caught the attention of Sun Studio owner Sam Phillips. Presley gained a following on tour, but it wasn't just his music that caught the eye of teenagers, it was his dance moves. A teenage Elvis holds a stack of 45s of his first commercial recording. Elvis performs with guitarist Scotty Moore. Liberace took Elvis under his wing and acted as a mentor to him. After signing with RCA, Presley's career took an upward turn. Presley's debut on national television was on the Dorsey Brothers stage show in 1956. Jerry Lee Lewis, Carl Perkins, Elvis Presley, and Johnny Cash teamed up for a one-night studio session in 1956. Thanks to his mainstream appeal, Presley snagged himself a three-year contract with Paramount Pictures in 1956. Presley made his on-screen debut in Love Me Tender, which was a hit at the box office. In the mid-50s, Elvis was often spotted with his signature comb. Presley returned to his hometown of Memphis, Tennessee in 1957. One of Presley's most famous songs was Jailhouse Rock, which he recorded for the 1957. At the height of his career, Presley was drafted into the military and served two years in the Korean War. Presley was incredibly close to his mother, Gladys. While living on the German army base, Presley met 14-year-old Priscilla Bewley. Presley traveled to Hawaii to film Blue Hawaii in 1961. By 1962, RCA Records opted to renew their contract with Presley. Two years after his discharge, Elvis invited Priscilla to join him in the United States. Now 17 years old, Presley co-starred in Viva Las Vegas with Anne Margaret in 1963, and the two began a year-long affair. Viva Las Vegas ended up being the rock star's highest-grossing film. Presley brought his iconic gold Cadillac on tour with him to promote his film Tickle Me. After proposing in December of 1966, Elvis and Priscilla were married in a Las Vegas ceremony on May 1, 1967. Nine months after their Las Vegas nuptials, Elvis and Priscilla welcomed their daughter, Lisa Marie Presley. The singer decided to refocus his energy on music after 1969's change of habit. In 1971, Presley was honored with the Grammy Awards Lifetime Achievement Award. Elvis and Priscilla separated on February 23, 1972. Presley met model and former beauty queen Linda Thompson. Nine months after their Las Vegas nuptials, Elvis and Priscilla welcomed their daughter, Lisa Marie Presley, on February 1, 1968. Here, the couple are photographed in the hospital before bringing Lisa Marie home to Graceland. After his film success started to decline and it became clear Presley was losing some of his box office charm, he returned to TV with a special in 1968. Many claim the singer recorded the special as a comeback and it became known as the 68 Comeback. Either way, the special worked and audiences were once again enamored with Presley and his black leather suit. In 1970, Presley had on a one-month residence in Las Vegas, where he introduced people to his karate dance moves and his famous white and gold jumpsuit. The singer recorded the album on stage from these shows. In November 1973, Presley was hospitalized for pneumonia, pleurisy, hepatitis, and an enlarged colon. The rock star's many ailments were the result of his drug dependency. After his hospitalization, he continued to perform until he had to be hospitalized once again. Presley arrives in Honolulu, Hawaii for his internationally televised concert Aloha from Hawaii. The concert was broadcasted via live satellite, which was very savvy for the time and was a huge success. Elvis and Priscilla were granted shared custody of their four-year-old daughter following their divorce. After they split, 